Hey guys, it's Brandon Miniman from Pocketnow.com. The Samsung Galaxy S2 is still one of the best phones out there, and we're talking about the S2, not the S3. It's super thin, super light, it comes in a variety of sizes and shapes and configurations, and best of all, it is super fast. Now what happens when you take Jelly Bean and put it on an already fast device? Samsung will be coming out with Jelly Bean for the Galaxy S2 most likely this year, but you can get Jelly Bean now if you want to make your Galaxy S2 even faster. So in this video, we're going to talk about a Cyanogen Mod 10 preview running on the Galaxy S2. Let's check it out. Now we've already shown you preview builds of Cyanogen Mod 10 Jelly Bean for the HTC One X, the Samsung Galaxy S3, and the Samsung Galaxy Note. And we'll put links at the top of the video here so you can jump back because those three devices have very far along builds, especially the One X and the Galaxy S3. If you have either of those devices, I highly recommend you root your phone, put on a custom bootloader, and get the Cyanogen Mod 10 preview because it is blazing fast. On the Note, it wasn't as blazing fast, and the same can be said here on the Galaxy S2. It's definitely quick, definitely good enough to use as your daily driver, but as we're going to see in a few moments, it's, uh, it's, it still has some work left. Uh, so here we're flick, flicking through the app tray. That's fast and responsive. Just some small details to point out. We're gonna bring out the One X over here, which as mentioned, is a little bit more far along. If we open up the app tray at the same time, watch the difference. Okay, so the One X was much faster. Going back to the home screen, much faster. Yes, the One X is a quad core processor, uh, but it just goes to show that also the software is not as far along. And I really don't think that the quad-core processor has much to do with how fast a folder opens. For games, maybe, uh, but, but the point is that the um, Cyanogen Mod 10 preview here for the Galaxy S2 is not as far along, but still plenty good. So we are going to go into the web browser. Okay, and we're going to go to Engadget.com. The keyboard is nice and responsive. And we're going to load the desktop view. And as it's loading, we're going to flick down the page. And just like we saw in the other Jelly Bean builds, everything's already there. It loads it in fast. It doesn't show you any white space or any checkerboards. I mean, this thing flies. And we can go into Portrait, and Portrait does work, or uh, Orientation Change, because in the Galaxy Note CM10 preview, it did not work. And let's go back into Portrait. It's kind of easier to see the page in that view. Let's zoom in on some text, see how long it takes to clear up. Pretty fast there, so probably about... Uh, half a second who's keeping track well we are so web browsing is definitely very good let's go to pocket now real quick we also have some complex graphics on that site so we can take a look at how the galaxy s2 is handling it zoom in on the page a little bit of whites white happening there again uh, so it's it's it still has a little bit of ways to go before it is as fast as the One X and the Galaxy S3, assuming it can ever get that fast because it's got slower hardware. Uh, but it's pretty darn good. So Galaxy S2, run Shelly Bean on your phone if you've got a Galaxy S2. It's definitely faster than even the release candidates for Cyanogen Mod 9, in our opinion. Uh, we'll put links in the description so you can download this particular ROM. These are nightlies, so you get updates about every night, really, that bring new functionality and new stability to the operating system. So you definitely want to keep up on those if you want the latest and greatest. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Let us know which ROM you're running, but if you're going to leave a comment, drop the comment over on pocketnow.com where the actual article is, because that's where we look at the comments. The comments on YouTube just come too fast, too furious. It's difficult for us to keep up. So anyway, thanks for commenting, and thanks for watching. That's it for now. Bye-bye.